find the maximum rate of change of this function at the point zero zero one. <clears throat> the key is that the maximum rate of change is the magnitude of the gradient. Um, at, at, evaluated at that point, so um, uh, zero, zero, 001. Okay, once you make that connection, it's all downhill from there. Gradient of F, partial derivatives, each component uh, is a separate partial derivative. The first component is the X partial derivative. Starts off first term with a Z as its derivative with respect to X e to the negative x squared plus y and then the chain rule derivative of the exponent with respect to x is negative 2x that's the first component of the gradient the partial derivative with respect to x okay now we need the partial derivative with respect to y first term doesn't have any y's in it. The second term is exponential. And so uh, e to the negative x squared plus y. But when it comes time to do the chain rule for that one, it's just multiplied by 1. And so we need our last component to be the z partial starts off with an x, and then that's it because the second term doesn't have any z's in it. Okay, so we need to evaluate this guy at 0, 0, 1. When x is 0, y is 0, and z is 1. Gradient of f um, at the point 0, 0, 1. is equal to, let's see, uh, 1 plus 0, because uh, it's multiplied by a negative 2x, so that's the i component, uh, e to the 0, that's a 1, and the j component, the j component is 1, and then the k component is 0, so that's a 1, 1, 0, that's the gradient at that point, and it will uh, be the direction of the maximum rate of change, the actual value of the maximum rate of change is the magnitude of that vector. Which is the square root of 2. And that is your answer.